Hello everybody and good morning. Welcome back to the shop. Ten more minutes. Thunder Chief building action. Man, what a earthquake and tsunami in Japan. Man, my heart goes out to all you guys out there that's affected by that. Wow. You poor people. That was unreal. I didn't even know about it till last night. We got a couple fans over there, everybody. Wow. Just something else, you know. But we got a truck on in the shop. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make some videos and they're on. Okay? So uh I got my Pulled my duck pieces out. Check this out. Okay. This goes in the plane. Okay. Let's run through these holes. And installs. Bam. What is that? Okay. Fits through that hole just perfect. Yeah, it's perfect. Okay. Then check this fit out, you guys. Check this out. I mean that is just Perfect, perfect, perfect fit. Just perfect. Nice snow. Perfect fit. Okay. Well, someone was going to ask me about these tanks. Why are they yellow? Because that's Kevlar. These are Kevlar tanks. Kevlar is yellow. That's just a clear resin. It's just uh, Kevlar is yellow. So the tanks are yellow. Now, <clears throat> these tanks fit in there, right there, right between my ducts. So you guys can see this. I ain't got two of them actually. Bam! It's going to hold a bunch of fuel. Okay, so I'm going to cut these ducts off right about there, right behind these tanks. And this should slide up right, right there. Bam. Okay, so slide them back. But I only wanted this to move about an inch, two inches tops. You know, we got plenty of travel there. And uh, put the duck in, slide this forward. Might be a little bit of a hassle, people, but you know, a couple people have said, Why didn't I like do cut just cut them off even with the wing? I tell you, that was such an eyesore. Uh, you know, you can't help from looking in these ducks. You can stand straight on this airplane and look down on it and just see straight in them things, and it just looked terrible. You know, that's just not what we're looking for, you know. I'm not a, such a perfectionist, but, you know, I like to make things uh, practical, flying machines practical for the flying field. But that was just a little too practical, man. That's just, that's ghetto. <laughs> My butt. You know, that's a little ghetto. So. What we're going to do today is got them fit. Got an update on the landing gear. Well, Dad came over this morning. And uh, the landing gear is coming out awesome. He's, he's, got the, he's got the air cylinder attached to the gear on a pivoting device, and it's really cool. He's just got to go home and make a couple of adjustments, and uh, they're going to work. They are going to work. So. I'm going to go right there. OK, 
okay and as long as we cut them ducks off I just want to be real careful and not cut these too fast you know I don't want to make a mistake okay that'll go all the way down to there so we at least got to cut them ducks right there bam so I can go forward I can go forward all the way to them tanks so I might have to cut some of this off it might be too long so I don't want it surrounding that engine but then again so you gotta you gotta look at all our options here Okay, and that's why we just don't want to go too fast. Another thing we got to look for is uh, are we going to be able to get our wing bolts in? Okay, doing this like this. So I just kind of assumed we can. Squeeze in there. You know? Okay. Yeah. Yes, I can get the wing bolts in. That might be a bugger, though. I tell you, I might just need to leave this to where I can take it off when I push it forward and go in them grooves. you back there Mr. Falcon. I'm gonna to have to stew on this a while because then it was, it was too long because so, my deal went too far back that means I'm gonna to have to cut some of this off set all forward put me a couple screws right here have to make me some little ears on this I should hold it all together because I think I can get a screw in there all right but the, if I drop it I ain't gonna be able to get it. But if this comes off, if that comes off, I got all kinds of room. Cause I could push that forward on the duck. Man, then my, I can get my whole hand in there to put them bolts on. Yep, that's what we need to do. Then have this. See, that ain't going in past them lips. That ain't going past that lip. It just ain't gonna happen. That's a really tight fit. <laughs> 